So I've been quite taken recently with the idea of using AI to build these personalized chatbots, chatbots that use uh, a specific set of information, some very precise answers, very technical answers rather than the general answers we might get from ChatGPT. And then uh, I found some quite inspirational videos and ideas from Liam Otley. And so I've copied one of his tutorials to build uh, a risk chatbot. So this is using a tool called BotPress. Uh, importantly, over here, there's the knowledge base, and this is where it's going to go first to answer the question. So I've dropped in my two books on risk and uh, an example crisis management plan, and the model will default to this knowledge base to answer the questions. And then if it can't answer them there, it uh, goes out to ChatGPT. So although this looks quite complicated, the um, bot press is fairly straightforward to use. It's a series of nodes and logic. And some of this is actually uh, designed to make sure that we capture the right information from the person so that when we uh, get to the end, if they want to follow up, uh, we know what it was that they were asking in the first place. So we're just asking them some basic questions about why they came here. But the question answering takes place over here. And you'll see that there's two elements. This little notebook here means it's checking the knowledge base. So it's going to go to the knowledge base first and ask the question. If the answer is, I don't know, it then passes it down here and it will ask the question and send it to ChatGPT. But either way, the answer then pops up in the chat window and the person can continue to have a conversation with Ada for really as long as they like. Once we get to the end, we're going to capture a little bit of information. If they want a follow up, uh, we'll get some basic information that then goes via Zapier to a spreadsheet so we can follow up. And if they don't want to follow up, they just uh, end the conversation. And so once it's deployed over here, you can see we've got the little chat window. I'll open this up and I'll say hi to get us started. And you'll see there's a couple of options up here later on. I can delete everything. I can download it. So it's quite useful. And there's an information button up here um, where uh, the user can see uh, where it's coming from and what the contact information. So I'm going to ask a quick risk question. Um, it's going to do some filtering first, understand what I want. Uh, let's say that I want to understand my risks better. Uh, and I'm curious about how I could grade my risks, which is a fairly common, uh, common question. So in the back end over in BotPress, it's going to the knowledge base first. It's asking that knowledge base for an answer. Uh, it's giving me an answer here. Depending upon um, the question, sometimes you get uh, slightly longer answers, but this is all coming from uh, the uh, the knowledge base and the reason I know that is it specifically says if it's going to chat GPT. So I'm going to say yes, I have more questions and I'm going to ask it something now that I know is not in the book. Um, uh, because I didn't write about ducks. So let's send that question in and it should say, I don't know the answer to that. Let's go and ask um, chat GPT. So let's see what we do here. Here's the answer. Yeah, we don't know. We've asked chat GPT. There's the answer. Um, I'll say that I'm done and that's going to take me to the final part, which is this little logic loop about picking up information. If I don't want anything else, I click no thanks. The, the chat is over. If I do want some additional resources, I'm now just going to get a little bit of um, information. Pop this in here, uh, my email. And then I'll get my name and then this will end our chat. So now that information has gone to Zapier. Zapier has that. I can then pick up that information because of the questions I asked at the beginning. I know whether they want risk information or crisis information, and therefore I can send them some appropriate uh, resources to help them out. So that's now the chatbot embedded. As I said, we can go over here and click it and it's downloaded it as a text file so the user can save that. If I click here, I'll get the information uh, about the chatbot and I've added in uh, the website and how to contact Crisis Dojo. And at the very end, if I'm done, when I close the chat, it should delete. But also if I'm really concerned, I can click delete and it's gone. So there we go. So that's a quick run through of building a personalized chatbot that goes to a specialized knowledge base first, but has a fallback to chat GPT and also will be able to capture some information if that's useful for what you're trying to do.